Pro charger? Uh, probably. Show you around here a little bit. We've been uh, pretty pretty busy and waiting on parts mainly. Sheesh. I, I should have asked first, huh? <laughs> I know, right? We just walked through. <laughs> nice. Have some garden sleeves over here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're. Oh, if you, we can move all this stuff in. The edge right here. Yeah. I got it. So here's the big reveal guys, here's the big reveal. We have the factory LS7 block that I sent in for a re-sleeve, which didn't happen because I changed my mind last minute. So what is behind the LS7 block? We're about to find out. The crank out of the way, now we're gonna get the LS7 block out of the crate and feels pretty light. I think I might be able to hand carry this. What do you guys think? Not bad. That wasn't bad. Weighs about maybe 110 pounds, 120 pounds, bare block. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 441 LSX. <laughs> A lot of money, but it's pretty, isn't it? I'm gonna cut it up, cut it open so you guys can see. So we have in here white Seco pistons. Cali's Magnum Crank, Cali's H Beam Rods, and all the goodies. Let's get this boat started. these days fully reinforced 
Forge Bottom and put the Chevy logo down below. That's cute. Now, and we're gonna free up the stand over here and start building this baby up. Day two, and we are back in action. So as you can see, I have the LSX mounted onto the engine stand, and I am honestly ready to begin assembling this motor. All right, still waiting on a few parts, still waiting on the gates belt, and still waiting on a smaller pulley. But until then, we're gonna press forward and get this thing rolling. Garage is a bit cluttered right now. Got parts everywhere. Rest in peace. Drag pack. As a vet. And ready to start building this thing. And on my last video, I covered the uh, for sale ad for this LS7 long block. Behind it is a LS7 short block, bare block. All right, let me know if anybody wants it. Call this fancy. Can retainer plate. Amen. That looks like there should be a, a seal in here. And the cam of choice is none other but the RPM B3. I'm not sure if that's going to focus. So let's go ahead and put the assembly lube on there. Got the motor rotated to give you guys a better view of the uh, of the underside. Try to find an etching that shows the uh, Cali's Magnum, but I couldn't find one. But that's what we rocking. Uh, it was about I want to say three grand for the crank. Yeah, I reinforced reinforced snout. Apparently, the uh, pro pro chargers are known to warp the crank, and some have even gotten the uh, the snout just completely just sheared off. So with this reinforced snout, shouldn't have that issue. All right, white Seco pistons, Cali's H beam rods. The builder gave me a heads up that I would probably need to drill the um, Windex tray and also space that space those out uh, with some washers. So we're gonna be doing just that, uh, making sure that we have that clearance. That way, uh, the uh, crank doesn't make any contact with the Windex tray and also have proper clearance with the oil pan. So we're gonna knock that out now. Here's our Windex tray. Try to do a mock fitment. As you can see. This bolt isn't clearing. This one and I believe there's one more. This one went ahead and added two washers to each stud, touched up every hole on the Windex tray, and we are good to go. You can see there's definitely a ton of clearance between the crank and the Windex tray. Right, so scratch that. Turns out that the cam retainer plate actually came with the O-ring along with the nuts for the Windex tray. And, and, and as you can see, that's already been bolted in. All right, got the timing set, bolted down and ready to throw the oil pump on. Thank 
to clean the bag. Making some progress, got the heads mounted on. As you can see, we're not running six bolt heads. These are factory flexed imported LS7 heads. Uh, my uh, pockets took a hit during this whole process, so I'm gonna save up some more money and definitely get some better flow in six bolt heads later in the future. But for now, we're gonna run these, and I think they should hold up just fine. I'm not going for any crazy amount of power so I think we can get away with these and like I said time and set has been torqued oil pump on but one thing I did notice is that the timing chain on this setup is a lot has a lot more tension than when I first did this on the factory LS7 block so I mean I don't know if it's the brand the Coors brand I don't know if I'm saying that right uh, along with the uh, manually adjustable uh, timing hex key I have it set right now at our factory zero so it's not advanced it's not retarded i'm going to be doing all that uh via the tune that the pcm handle all of that all right so a couple of videos ago i asked you guys to uh, drop by the comment section and uh, leave your guesses on what block i was going to be running all right so big shout out to ss offshore along with hamad al shaski hopefully i didn't butcher your name okay so these two guys came very close all right so they both guessed it 441 cubic inch block but they didn't specify on material but still big shout out to these two guys all right for participating and for uh keeping the uh, channel uh engaging and inter uh interactive all right and to pay my respects i went ahead and as you can see wrote the name names on my uh on the valley cover all right so big shout out to these two guys they will be part of the engine build all right and they will be uh with me whenever i go out <laughs> to race in spirit and uh thank you for your support but that is not all that is not it all right so i got two more guys two more guesses who came close as well and they both specified on the black material they were just a little bit off but they specified the black material so they get to also be Part of this engine build all right drum roll please and those names are six gen gino and corn fred zr1 so shout out to these two guys as well thank you for dropping in dropping your guesses all right six gen gino guess they are 440 cubic inch lsx and corn fred zr1 guess the 442 cubic inch lsx iron block so there you have it guys you will also be part of this engine build and i will have you guys in spirit when i go out there and full send this motor in the car thank you guys thank you to my viewers my subscribers okay so you guys make it very enjoyable you make the journey worth it all right the 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 interaction the comments the support the love i read and respond to every comment so please keep being interactive and with that being said i'm going to I back to it and keep pressing on. We're gonna throw the timing chain cover on, throw that crank pulley on, and start mounting the uh, pro charger and uh, the accessory brackets and prep the motor to be dropped in. Progress check, knocking it out still. As you can see, timing chain cover is on, crank pulley is on, rocker arms torque down, and pretty much getting ready to throw it into the car. All right, so. Hopefully by the next video, I'm going to have this baby up and running and ready for that street tune. Thank you guys for tuning in, for keeping up with the update on how things are going here in the garage and uh, my plans for the motor. I cannot wait to see what this next chapter holds for us. All right, so hopefully by the next video, I'm going to be out data logging, street tuning, and uh, you know doing what we do best. All right, so appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Thank you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe. All right, I will not let you down. All right, I'll see you guys. 
and girls on the next video.